All right, hello, math fans. Okay, today we're going to cover a topic, and it's going to be multiplying and dividing rational expressions. Okay, it's very similar to simplifying rational expressions, except you really you've got like two different two different uh, rational expressions and the deal is you can always cancel any terms from the top with any terms uh, from the bottom. That's the rule. You can always you can do that. Cancel any terms from the top with any terms from the bottom. So let's start with a real basic problem here. Um, if I have x plus 2 over x minus 3 times x plus 6 over x plus 2. As long as this is multiplication here between terms, because remember how back in the day I told you there has to be multiplication in order to cancel things out? It's the same thing here, and in this case, you actually have a multiplication symbol between the terms. I can cancel this out if it's exactly the same. So these have to be the same in order to cancel it out. So they, they cancel out, and now I've got, how about this? Can I, do, can I cancel anything with the x minus 3 and the x plus 6? No, they're not the same. They have to be exactly the same. So what happens is you cross that one off. It's a 1 and a 1, because when you cross something off, it it comes 1. And then if I multiply straight across, I just have left over x plus 6. On the bottom, I have x minus 3. And that's your answer to that problem. Okay, that's really basic and straightforward. Okay, let's try another one here. x minus 7 over x plus 2 times x um, plus 2 over x plus 7. Okay, x plus 2's cancel. Not the same. So it's x minus 7 over x plus 7. And that's your final answer. Please don't cross off the x's and the 7 and the negative 7. They ha are not the same. They cannot cancel out. So that is your answer. All right? Please watch when you do these problems. All right. Um, another problem. x squared minus 4 over x minus 3 times x squared um, minus 6x plus 9 over x uh, squared plus 4x plus 4. All right? A lot of factoring here, guys. And I told you back in the day, if you see x squared terms and plus and plus and minus with that, you've got a factor. So right away I can factor this x squared minus 4. That's x plus 2. x minus 2. On the bottom is x minus 3. Okay, this next guy here, that factors to x minus 3 times x minus 3. Okay, the bottom factors to x plus 2 times x plus 2. Now, anything from the top can be canceled with anything from the bottom. So if I see something the same, which I do, I see an x plus 2 here and an x plus 2. Okay, I have an x minus 2 and an x plus 2. Can't cancel those out. I see x minus 3 and an x minus 3. And guys, don't cancel both x minus 3s out. It's only one top for one bottom. Okay, don't cancel two top for one bottom. And that's all I can do. There's nothing else to cancel. So my answer to this problem is x minus 2 times x minus 3 over x plus 2. That's it. Can't do anything else with it. Okay? It's pretty straightforward, but you got to remember, there's lots, tons of factoring. Tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of factoring. All right. Um, let's try this one here. 2x squared minus 10 over x plus 1 
times x plus 2 over 3x squared minus 15. Okay, lots of factoring. The top, first of all, I'm going to factor out of 2. So I get 2x squared uh, minus 5 over x plus 1. And then I have my x plus 2 here. And then this guy, I factor out of 3. I get 3 parentheses x squared minus 5. Okay, well, you're like, well, I can't factor the x squared minus 5. You're right, but I have 1 on the top and I have 1 on the bottom. So I can cancel them out. It doesn't have to be factored to cancel them out. It just has to be the same and it has to be multiplication. There's a 2 times that and a 3 times that. And that's all I can do, right? There's nothing else to cancel out here. So my final answer is 2 parentheses x plus 2. And on the bottom, it's 3 parentheses x plus 1. And that's it. That's your final answer. Okay? So that was a little bit more complicated, but again, got to kind of follow the rule here and, and uh, you know, with what's going on. Okay. Uh, let's try one that doesn't have any pluses and minus. Let's just do... Um, x squared y to the fifth z over x to the seventh y to the sixth z to the fifth times x y squared z to the fourth over x to the fifth y to the seventh z to the third power. Okay, you got just a ton of different numbers. In fact, let's throw some numbers in here too. 2 and 5 and 10 and uh, 12. All right. Now, this is my recommendation. I would listen to this because I've seen people can make it a much more complicated problem. What I see people, they do battle now and then they multiply it. But the problem is if you do battle now and then you multiply it, you're going to have to do battle again. You know, why would you want to do battle twice? So this is the deal. Um, I would cancel for this type of problem. So cancel, uh, we'll say cross cancel. Cross cancel numbers only. Okay? Cross cancel numbers only. So this is the deal. If I... If I got rid of all those variables, just to kind of look what it, uh, what it looks like here, it's, if I had 2 fifths times 10 over 12, wouldn't you say, oh, uh, 5 goes into 5 once, 5 goes into 10 twice, um, 2 goes into 2 once, 2 goes into 6, or 2 goes into 12 six times, and oh, here's a 1 and a 3. So all this reduces to 1 third. You guys agree with that? Well, I can do that on the same problem here, too. It just happens that it's got a whole bunch of variables with a 2. So here, it's the 5. Here's a 1, and here's a 2. And the 2 is a 1, and this is a 6, and that's a 3 and a 1. So this is the deal here. I have 1 third as my final answer for numbers. Now, the variables, remember when you multiply? So when you multiply variables... You add exponents. Okay, so x squared times x to the first is x to the third. Y to the fifth times y squared, y to the seventh. Z to the first, don't forget it's a one there, times z to the fourth is z to the fifth. X to the seventh times x to the fifth is x to the twelfth y to the 6th times y to the 7th is y to the 13th. z to the 5th times z to the 3rd is z to the 8th. Okay? That's pretty easy. So, again, just to recall what I just did, I cross-canceled the numbers first and simplified that. And then I multiplied everything straight across with variables. Okay? And then your last step is battle. So it's, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna ignore this. Uh, well, I guess actually I'm not because you know what? I'm gonna need that. One third. If I do a battle of the x's, who wins? The bottom by nine. Who wins with the y's? The bottom by six.
Who wins with the Z's? The bottom by three. That's your final answer, math fans. Okay, it looks kind of, it actually is a little bit more complicated than the other ones, um, but remember, first thing, cross cancel the numbers right here. Cross cancel the numbers. Uh, the second thing is multiply straight across by adding exponents. And the third step is battle. Okay, and then you're going to be successful. So let's try another one of these because it's very exciting. Um, 4x squared y to the 8th z cubed over um, 7x to the 5th y squared z times uh, 21x to the 4th y to the 10th z to the 6th over um, 6x squared y squared z squared. All right. So the first thing I can do is um, cross cancel numbers. So I'm gonna do the fraction down here, and well, let's see. Seven goes into seven one. Seven goes into twenty-one three times, and then four goes into or two goes into four twice. Two goes into six three times, and then three goes into one three. Three goes into one three. So I just have two over one. All right. And now I'm going to multiply everything across. So let's do x squared and x to the fourth, x to the sixth, y to the eighth times y to the tenth is y to the eighteenth, and z cubed times z to the sixth is z to the ninth. The bottom, x to the fifth times x to the second is x to the seventh, y squared times y squared is y to the fourth, z to the first times z squared is z to the third power. Okay, last step is battle. So we're going to put the 2 there. I don't need the 1, because remember, you don't, you never put 1x or anything. So I'm not going to even do anything with the 1. Um, the, if I battle these, uh, the bottom wins by 1. So x, battle these, the top wins by 14. And those, the top wins by 6. That is your answer. 2y to the 14th, z to the 6th over x. Okay? Pretty easy, pretty easy. Um, all right, so that's really it for multiplication. Um, let's look at division. Okay, division is just as easy. Basically, if you guys remember, two thirds divided by uh, four thirds. If you guys remember what you do with a fraction, you change this to multiplication and you flip or take the reciprocal of the second fraction, not the first one. So this is what you're going to do. You're going to say two-thirds times the reciprocal. And here I can cross cancel. That's a one and a two, so you get one half. Okay, that's all you do. So all these problems that I've actually done before, I could all, I could change them all into division problems and kind of show you that. But let's do a few of these, and uh, and you should be good to go with uh, with the division. Okay, so let's see here. I have x squared minus forty nine over x squared plus 6x plus 9 divided by um, x squared minus 7x over x squared minus 9. Okay, I like that one. All right, so the first thing, before I even do anything, before I even factor anything, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change, I'm going to flip this and change it to multiplication. That's the first thing you're going to do, guys. So let's just do that. We have x squared minus 49 over x squared plus 6x plus 9 times x squared minus 9 over x squared minus 7x. 
Okay, and then you're going to factor them. There's so much factoring involved here, it is not even funny. Well, math is fun, but it's not funny. But there's so much factoring involved. So, in fact, I can see that I'm going to factor four times here. So x squared minus 49 is x plus 7. x minus 7. On the bottom is x plus 3. x plus 3 times that factors to x plus 3 x minus 3, and that I just factor, I do a greatest common factor, I factor out an x, so I get x times x minus 7. Okay? Now I can cross cancel because now it's all multiplication. There's all multiplication between terms. So the x minus 7s cancel, 1x plus 3 cancels, and that's all. That's all I can cancel. There's nothing else to do here. So my answer is x plus 7 times x minus 3 over x times x plus 3. That's the answer. So division is really almost the same thing, except you got to change the multiplication and flip that second term. It's pretty easy to do. All right. Let's try one with uh, some numbers and variables, no plus signs. So let's just do, how about 2x cubed, y to the fourth, z to the fifth, over... Uh, 9x to the 7th y squared z divided by um, 4x squared y to the 3rd over, um, s let's say, 15xy uh, to the 5th z to the 10th. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to switch around. Uh, 2x cubed, y to the fourth, z to the fifth, over 9x to the seventh, y squared, z, times 15xy to the fifth, z to the tenth, over 4x squared, y cubed. Okay, pretty mellow. Uh, first thing I do, I'm going to cross cancel the numbers. So I've got. Uh, Two, that's a 1 and a 2. And 3 goes into 9 3 times. 3 goes into 15 5 times. And that's all I can do. Okay, so I've got 5 and then 3 times 2 is 6. That's multiplied straight across for both of them. x cubed times x to the 1st is x to the 4th. y to the 4th times y to the 5th is y to the 9th. z to the 5th times z to the 10th is z to the 15th. On the bottom is x to the 7th times x squared is x to the 9th. y squared times y cubed is y to the 5th. z times nothing here, so it's just z. And my last step is battle. Remember, guys, please don't battle the 5 and the 6. That is just 5 6 okay? If I battle the x's, the bottom wins by 5. Battle the y's, the y, the north wins by 4. And battle the Z's, the top wins by 14. And that is the answer to that problem. Okay? Let's, uh, let's do one more here. Um, what if I do something like this? Uh, X squared minus 2X over 16 minus X squared divided by um, x squared minus 4 over x minus 4. Well, let's switch around. x squared minus 2x over 16 minus x squared times x minus 4 over x squared minus 4. Okay, that's pretty mellow. Now, you got to worry about factoring here, and this is the deal. See that guy? Switch it around, and so I'm going to make this negative x squared plus 16, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to factor on negative 1. So let's, let's now factor, this is actually negative, parentheses, x squared minus 16. Let's factor now everything. The top, I can factor out an x. The bottom is a difference of two squares. So it's x plus 4, x minus 4. The top, it's x minus 4. 
the bottom is x minus 2, x plus 2. So I can cancel anything out with the top and the bottom, and I can cancel an x minus 2 out, and I can cancel an x minus 4 out, and that's it. So that negative, if there's a negative there, move it to the top. Just like you, you don't say 1 negative fourths, right? You always say negative 1 fourth. So the negative always, if there's just a negative hanging out there, put it to the top. Anyway, you wind up having negative x. There's nothing left on the top, and the bottom is um, uh, x plus 4 times x plus 2. And that's your final answer for that problem. Okay, so just kind of a little variety of problems here. Um, and uh, that's it. So that's really all we have to do with uh, multiplication and division of um, rational expressions. Okay, but remember, man, factoring is so unbelievably huge. Everything has to be factored in order to be successful in this problem. Okay, that's it, math fans. Have a nice day. Goodbye.